What makes Hobby scared? Made by Wee Wen. Inspired by Chim Chim Trash. BTS texts number 105. Fiction. Have you ever heard about the, the Monsters? It's the talk of the town horror book, yes. And many people who bought it can't finish reading it cause it's super scary, exaggeration. Releasing fake reviews to gain publicity? To attract curious readers? Nah, well, there's no way to find out if it's a marketing strategy or not. I bought one, I was about to buy a copy. Since you have one, let me borrow it after you, no. Those reviews and fake. It's true the book is cursed. You should throw it, cookie, no one said it's cursed. They're just saying that it's too scary to finish it, he's telling the truth. We read a review saying the monster on the book became real, the monster crossed the bridge of fiction and reality. Now it's terrorizing him, know what? You, Macnaze, are just hungry from playing too much video games, you bet. Now, I want silence as I'll start reading the book. Let's see if I'll get scared. A little longer than a few minutes later. What the fork? Stop screaming. I am trying to sleep here. My gosh, it's Hobby. He's screaming while running to the outside. Where are you going, Hobby, to the beach? This book is evil. I am gonna dispose it while I still have time. I told you, young. I warned you but you didn't listen. Now you reap what you sow, then that means. The monster in that book is now strolling in our house. I don't know. What I know is this book gives me chills I've never felt before. Maybe you just put your air can to centigrade higher than what you used to. Then the reviews are true. People who tried reading it can't finish it. Tell us more. At first, it was fun. But after chapter by chapter, I found out how evil this book is. Like if I continue reading this, like what Tay said, the monster will come to us. I just hope you didn't reach the book where the monster willfully cross our world. Monster ain't real. The book is just magnificently well written hence the scare. Magnificently well written? Fork no. What I know is that this is evilly written. What I know is there's a runaway fork who's too scared over a fiction book. Young. He is scared for real. There is really something bad about that book. Then I'm challenging those who are not believing in me. Buy and read it. I don't like reading books. So. Hey. Is it true that you're heading to beach to throw it? Breaking it is the best thing to do. I think you need to burn it instead of drowning it. I just threw it into the sea. I read long time ago that sea is monster's weakness. I need to go to the church and make them bless our house. Just to be sure, as of now, I don't feel anything strange. But yeah, I agree. We need to do that. Please, if one of you will buy that book, do not read it in this house. Or quit the band. I'm afraid the monster will stick to his life forever. And will share his curse to us, right? Under Hobby's Act 666, that book is officially banged in this house. So ordered. Eventually. What the fork? What's with the screaming again? I am trying to sleep here. It's Hobby and he's screaming while running to the outside. Again. Like a deja vu. I don't wanna live here anymore. The monster is here. It is haunting me. What the fork are you saying? If there's a monster here, we would know. Oh my gosh. Did you see it? Where is it? But our house just got its blessing. I haven't seen the monster yet. Not that it already crossed the book. It's worse. There's a the monster book on my bed. It's wet. It's the book I threw. The fork. Are you saying that it went home for you to release the monster in it? Oh no. Wait for me, young. I'll run away with you. Let me jump off of my window first. All of you should leave the house. We don't know what the book can do to us. If the book went back for you to release the monster in it, then it only wants you. That makes sense. All of us here are safe. The book will chase you, not us. Oh my gosh. You are forking right. Then where should I go? To the church. If the house blessing didn't work, then you are not safe in the church. Just a thought. If by drowning didn't destroy it, then maybe I was right. You need to burn it. Do you think it won't come back to life if we burn it? But okay, let us try that option. But I was already at the bus stop. Can someone please burn it for me? It's coming for me, not you. So I think it won't do harm on you. 
Please burn it. Um, I think no one would ever dare to touch that book. I mean, it might curse us too. Are you sure this is serious? I mean, you are not trying to scare the Macnays, are you? What the fork? All this time you're thinking about that? This is an emergency, Junie. I went at the bus stop wearing the pants I pooped on. You think I'm joking? You don't have to share that. Gross. Fine. I'll burn the book just get back here. Really? Oh my gosh. Thank you Junie for sacrificing your life. You are the man. Later. Done. I just burned it. It's now ashes. Can't believe I burned a brand new book. New or not. Who'll read it anyways? It's wet. You won't be able to read the words well. New? Are you blind? It's not new anymore. Yes. I bought one but it's second hand. The front and back cover of it has wrinkles or creases. So it is not brand new. We were with Junie when he burned it. It's wet, but the covers don't have crease. It even has a price sticker tag attached at the back cover. It costs $5.99. What? It doesn't have price tag. And I only bought it for $2. If you're telling the truth, then that means the book you burned isn't my book. I am honestly confused. So there's a new book magically appeared in your room. The monster you drowned called for help. That's why another monster went to you. No I get it now. I was fooled. Monster in the book is not real. But in reality, it is. One of you set me up. One of you bought a brand new book. Wet it. To scare me. Surely that's what happened. He made you think the monster is haunting you. But what if I'm right? That all books are cursed? It's possible right. There's one way to find out. Go to the beach and look for the book I threw. If it's still there, then I'm right. There's a monster among you who terrorized me. I am pretty sure it's one of the youngs. Cause we, Macnays, are afraid of that book, not me. I will never waste my well earned money for something dumb fork. I'm the one who'll give the verdict. Culprit could act scared or don't have interest. I'm now here at the beach where I threw the book. That I'm sure is still there. Um, are you still wearing the same pants? You said you pooped your pants right. Oh no. Yes. Don't tell me you let the people see the dirt on it and smell it. Guys, relax. I'm already at the sea. I can wash my pants while finding the book. Why you two suddenly brought that up? Smell fishy. Oh well. Maybe cause I'm in the sea. Two very boring minutes later. What happened? Hobby Young. Did you find the book? What are you taking so long? Let me guess. He is washing the pants now. Let's pray for the fallen fishes. I am right. The book is still here. That means, the book you burned is a decoy. I will give worst punishment to that evil who tricked me. He will remember it forever. What concerns me most is if you now have two monsters who'll haunt you. Tay, there's no monsters. What we need right now is to know who fooled Hobby. Junie is right. This book is scary. But I know it doesn't have any monsters. Oh my gosh. Then who is it? He is so evil for doing that to you. So evil. Oh my gosh. Did you just say so evil and oh my gosh twice? That's so unlikely of you. Wait a G minute. Yungi, I don't wanna accuse you but tell me, are you the culprit? Yes, I am. What? It's just my revenge cause you screamed while I was trying to sleep. Of all people, you are the last person on my list who'll do what the culprit did. And his reason is cause I disturbed his sleeping session. What reason is that? Well, at first I just wanna read that controversial book. Yes, I was curious. I recall, you said that those reviews are fake and to gain attention. It got you though. Then Hobby panicked, through the book. That's when I came up with this idea. Sometimes, your playful side really came out when we least expect it. Wonderful. We just proved two things today. First, he is a cat. And next, curiosity kills the cat. You are now a dead meat, Yungi. Cuz like what I said, I'll punish you. Yeah, whatever. Punish me after I took a nap. And please, pay my $5.99. Can't believe it. Of all people who'll get a punishment, he's the most excited. He is a cat. Chim. And that says it all. But, are you sure there's no monster? Oh my gosh. There's no monster. The book is just so well written. We're all safe. The real monsters are in the government. Tay. 
and they are really scary, choosing self-interest than their people's health in the midst of the pandemic. Oops. I think we should now end this video. Someone give Jen a pineapple juice. The end.